Welcome to Bleachers and Speakers. I'm your host, June. I got my boy, B. Foster, and we are talking about Featured Player of the Week, uh, one of several we're doing this week. And this guy is somebody I'm familiar with because I follow the Big Ten. But I'll let Foster go ahead and tell you all about this next athlete. We got uh, a 2024 draft prospect, and I won't say any more. Go ahead, Foster. All right, the next player we're going to talk about is Jerzon Newton out of Illinois. This guy has uh, quite the line of accolades. He's a first-team All-American, and he was also Conference Defensive Player of the Year. Um, he lines up at 6'2", 304 pounds, and he was uh, the first-ranked um, combi- first ranked in the combine in his position as far as productivity. Um, he's compact and muscular with, up, with upper body power. Um, pretty athletic for his size. Um, he has the ability to run um, run the field like a defensive end, even though he plays on the inside. He has the ability to beat uh, to beat guards, and his edge-to-edge attacking mindset creates secondary pressures and sacks. He had uh, pretty good production this past year, 52 total tackles, um, seven and a half sacks, one forced fumble, one fumble recovery, and eight and a half t- tackles for a loss. So um, you can see – why he had those um, accolades as defensive player of the year um, on the uh, in the conference. Um, as far as his weaknesses, he needs to improve his uh, his shed timing um, as a tackler. Um, he occasionally um, gets out of his rush lane uh, when looking for pressure, and uh, sometimes he has a shaky pad level, um, and he just to to improve his uh, pressure as a power rusher. Um, he tends to catch as opposed to jolt blockers um, at the initial contact. And he's a little undersized at that 302 pounds, um, which creates issues um, when you're double teamed. You know, obviously, uh, when you're on the inside, you, um, it's, you're a lot more susceptible to being uh, doubled up by the center and the guard. So um, he has uh, shown that he struggles a little bit as far as that's concerned. Um, As far as his fit with Detroit, um, we have Aline McNeil, who who, um, is coming off his best season, and we went out and got DJ Reader in the offseason. So it does not leave uh, a starting spot open for for Newton. But, I mean, you, you, you rotate those guys. Uh, in a in a rotation, you got a nice you nice got a nice little set of guys that can all uh, get after the quarterback, but also stop the run as well. Um, definitely not on the top of our list as far as needs, um, but you know we, we show love to the Big Ten around here. So um, and we need and you know pass rushers. You know he it for for him to have seven and a half sacks on the inside and and the fact that he has you know above average athleticism at that at that position. You can never never have enough guys that can rush the quarterback, especially after last year. So um not not a heavy need, but uh, definitely a appealing prospect to look into. Um but yeah, that is Jerzon Newton. Now here's a guy that it's it's kind of interesting because I feel like he will be around at 29 at the same time with what happened to cam uh i don't know i don't know if if you if you go that route at 29 i wouldn't be mad at it uh especially with the pickup of dj reader so uh i wouldn't be mad at it though i mean i've watched him play most of the year and uh he's pretty good he's pretty good uh despite his weaknesses uh that you mentioned, I think these are things that can be fixed and worked on. Uh, uh, past uh, gap discipline is just a mentality, and that's something that just has to be – he has to trust the system. Uh, sometimes you can lose gap uh, you can use gap control or lose uh, – and, and, and try to make a play. And uh, sometimes that – it can work out for you if you just – you know, it can work out for you and sometimes where you – where you say, okay, I'm going to go here and not, you know, stay gap sound and make a play. And sometimes it burns you, you know, for, but for the most part, you have to stay gap sound and trust the system and trust your teammates. Do your job. If everybody does their job, 
should be fine. But I like this guy. I wouldn't be mad if he was taken at 29. Would Just you get him or Darius Robinson? Darius Robinson. Okay. Nope. Okay. Nope. I was curious. I was like, okay, nope. maybe a nope. little, little, little bit more versatile versatile with uh Darius Robinson. You can move him inside and he can play outside as well. Right. So yeah, so yeah. Uh the versatility of Robinson uh trumps uh Mr. Zertan. I mean, not saying that he can't do it. Uh I mean Mr. Newton, but uh not saying he can't do it, but uh, I would if I had a choice, it would be Robinson. But this guy's not a bad pick. Once again. Subscribe to Bleachers to Speakers on YouTube. Subscribe there. Check us out audio-wise on any podcast streaming platforms, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio. All you have to do is type in Bleachers to Speakers, FFSN. Follow us with the alert button. Uh, download the episodes. Uh, we're on all of the, I mentioned just three, but we're on all of the podcast streaming platforms. So just check us out where it's most convenient for you. And Foster, thanks again for another, another good job. Peace.